Hey everybody, hope you're enjoying Varlmore just as much as I have. Now, between the Coliseum and Perilous Moons, there's a lot of new PVM content with the Varlmore update, uh, so it's a little bit easy to forget about the incredible new skilling methods introduced as well. Many of you have probably been trying out the Hunter's Guild by now and doing some of the Hunter contracts, but what's a little bit not been receiving that much attention is actually the new prayer training method up at Rallis's Rise. Now, once you've completed Twilight's Promise, this is kind of the introduction quest, um, basic quest over here. It's actually going to take you by the end of the quest over to Rallis's Rise, and this is where you can also start the Perilous Moons quest, and this is actually where the new prayer method takes place. Now, very easily... What I've been doing basically to get this done is just teleport over to the Civitus Fortis with like the new teleport, takes you right here. And from there, I can actually go ahead and travel with my bird up to the Teal Mat. This is where the first step of the prayer method actually takes place. Now to actually do prayer, you're going to need bone shards. This is like the main new currency and it's really easy to get them. If you've been doing any amount of uh, Perilous Moons, you'll notice you're getting quite a bit of these sun-kissed bones, and you can't actually bury them. You see, there's no option to bury them. I tried using them at the Wildy Altar, and that also didn't work. However, what you can do if you have a chisel is you can start breaking them down, um, and I believe that while you can't spam click it, you can use your chisel to do like a fast, but you can basically process your inventory fast. Right now, every single one of these gives you 45 bone shards and uh, we'll be using the bone shards a little bit later. But the best way to think about it is every bone shard is basically five prayer experience. Once we process it a little bit later, you don't have to just use sun kiss bones. You can also use other regular bones as well. Um, it's very, very easy. If you go up to this altar, you can actually use wormling bones over at Virilis. He's going to uh, unnote everything. Wormling bones are a new bone that you get um, over in Perilous Moons as well. And you can see same here. You can actually go ahead and bless them all down. And then the same idea. You'll go ahead and uh, chisel them down into bone shards. You get a little bit of crafting. But really, we're just here to collect a ton of bone shards. In addition to the Wormling bones, we can also use regular dragon bones. I can exchange this with this guy. And it's really easy to just run up here and down. Uh, and go ahead and see. We'll get into rates in a little bit, but yeah, once again, we can go ahead and bless them all. I don't believe any of these are tradable or anything like that, so once you bless them, you do have to use it uh, for the bone shards. Again, when you're breaking down like the sun-kissed bones or any blessed bones, you can just do this pretty AFK and just slowly process it. Again, it's very similar to the Wildy Altar, but if you do want to speed it up, uh, you can just basically spam the chisel and just go a little bit faster just to you know go through your inventory a little bit quicker. Now, this isn't the only way to get bone shards. We can also go ahead and actually climb down the mountain um, over into the town. There's actually a little mining skilling method that you could do now that also gives you bone shards. And I believe in the main city of Fortis, you can also do some thieving to get some ivory statues that can be broken down into bone shards as well. I'll cover the mining method real quick just to show you a little bit of my results. Um, but then I'll have a, a link in the description um, just a little bit ahead where we talk about what we actually want to do with those bone shards. Okay, so once you've actually entered the um, Camtorum, which is like the dwarf town over here, uh, there's the mining method is actually over here in this mine. These are the calcified deposits, and it's very simple. It's kind of like motherload mine. You're just going to be looking for the calcified rocks um, and mining them. This gives you a little bit of bone shards as well as a decent amount of mining experience as well. Every now and then, some of the deposits will start flowing with water. I'm not entirely sure if this just gives you a higher chance of getting it or just more shards in general. Um, but you should probably just pick up those. I think those are good. You should just pick the water. It's kind of like Tears of Guthics where you just go find the one. And in the meantime, you just do the regular calcified. They do occasionally um, run out of resources. So you got to go find another one again, just like that. It ran out of resources. So I got to go find the one that's empty. Sink like mother and mine, or if you've done baronite deposits, something like that. Now, I did a quick 10 minute test of this uh, with 85 mining using a dragon pickaxe, and I was using a Varrock armor when I was testing this, and I was getting about 42k, 42k mining an hour, which is pretty decent, as well as uh, I got 450 shards in that 10 minutes, which comes out to 2,700 shards per hour. And if you remember, I said that every bone shard is five prayer experience when you do process it. So at 2,700 shards, that's 13,500 prayer experience in an hour of mining. And honestly, it's pretty damn AFK. You don't really have to do that much. So, so it's a really nice way of getting some experience as well as some prayer experience. So you can go uh, process down the line, you know, if you don't want to be farming like blue dragons or spending that money outright. 
Now, while mining, you'll also occasionally get a calcified deposit. Um, if you've ever done Baronite, it's the same idea. All you're going to want to do is take this over to an anvil. And if you have a hammer in your inventory, you're going to be able to break this open for a bit of extra shards. I was usually getting about 10 shards, 10 to 15 shards roughly uh, per deposit. So it's just a nice little bonus there. In addition, the deposits have a chance of giving you a teleport that's actually going to take you to this town. So I got one of these when I was doing my test. Um, I did about six of them and I only got one. So it's probably somewhere around that rate. I can't give you the exact numbers. Um, and if you crush this, it's actually going to teleport you straight to the city. And these actually are tradable. So if you are doing this right now, you might get some serious cash from people who are doing perilous moons and want a faster way to get over to Camtorum. I would definitely try to save them. It's a really nice teleport to have right now. Okay, so we got a bunch of bone shards. Let's actually start, you know, getting some prayer experience. All you're going to want for this is a bunch of jugs of wine. And we're going to head right back over to that same altar we started off at. Again, I'm going to use the Fortis teleport, take the bird over and get back over to the altar. Every jug of wine is good for 400 bone shards. So I have 7,350. I think 20 is going to be just fine. We're going to take these jug of wines, bring them over to the exposed altar, and actually turn them into jugs of blessed wine. Now, this item is untradeable, and it's also unbankable. So don't make too many of them, because once you've basically made it, you, you have to use them. From here, you're actually going to run north to the Tiamat. This is where you're actually going to get your prayer experience, and it is really simple and very chill. You're going to head over to the Libation Bowl over here with all of your shards and blessed wine and it's just as simple as you're just going to click sacrifice and you're going to see uh, i'm going to be sacrificing 100 shards at a time getting 500 prayer experience per sacrifice the really nice thing is as long as you have wine in your inventory you don't actually have to do anything you could just chill and let it process i'm literally fully afk right now you can't spam it if you want to go faster so i guess this is actually a nice way if you really do want to speed it up, you can also just spam sacrifice. So it's kind of similar to like the Ectofuntus. Now you can see I've actually ran out of prayer points. Funny enough, you do need prayer points to use this. It will slowly take away. Um, but there is an altar that's right over here. I think this is just so that you can't literally AFK this for like, you know, five minutes. Head over here, bask in the shrine, and you can head back and just keep going. So either AFK or spam click, your choice. The experience is the exact same. It just depends on how fast you actually want to get it done. And it's nice because, again, the wine just auto fills up. So really nice and simple, very easy prayer method. So we can take this one step further. Let's say you want to get a little bit more out of your bones. If you've gotten any of these Sunfire Splinters, which you can get from the Colosseum, as well as from Hunlight, uh, hunting the new Sunlight uh, Antelopes, which I think requires 72 Hunter, you can also go ahead and um, with a pestle and mortar in your inventory, you can make um jug of sunfire wine. Now, this has the benefit of instead of giving you five experience for bone shard, it's going to give you six experience for bone shard when you fill the libation bowl with that. I only have a thousand two hundred more to go, so we don't really have that much more. But once again, we'll make the sunfire. We'll go ahead and bless it. And I don't know how efficient this is because these guys are selling for quite a bit right now because it's pretty new and it is used for a couple other things. Also, if you were curious, I did check. You can't actually unnote jug of wines here. The only thing that this guy unnotes is just bones and that's it. That's that's the only thing. So um, you're going to have to go after you run out of wine, you are going to have to go bank and then come back here. But what we can do now is we can go once again back to the libation bolt, this time with our blessed sunfire wine. And um, once we use up whatever's left here, I think I have, let's see, I have 200 bone shards, so we should get the 500 and then another 500, but now we're going to fill it up with the blessed and we're start, we're going to start getting 600 uh, for every 100. So now we're getting six experience per bone shard, a little bit more juice, getting a little bit more out of your bones, basically. Now, how efficient is this to, you know, go do regular or sunfire wine? Should I do this over the wildy altar? Is this even beneficial? Just to give you a little bit of numbers so you can kind of make your own opinion. When you use bones at a gilded altar, you get 350% of the experience. So dragon bones typically give 72 prayer experience. And at a gilded altar, they're going to give you 252. At the chaos temple, this is the wildy altar. This is going to be, it's the same amount, 252. But because you have a 50% chance of saving it, you're essentially getting double 
prayer from the bone. Uh, so you're getting 700% or 504 experience per bone. Obviously, this requires you to use the wildy though, so that might not be favorable to some of you. The Ectofuntus is an alternative that gives you 400% experience per bone. With Rallus's Rise, using just the regular jug of wines, you're getting 403% experience per bone. With the Enriched Wine, you're getting 483%, but again, that does require you to use up the Sunfire Splinters and obtain those as well. Now, this is quite good, and I think it's definitely better than the Ectofuntus. It's also uh, quite a bit more chill, in my opinion. It's easier to just get like a humongous stack of bone shards doing whatever activity and then just go process them all. If you do have access to the Wildy Altar, I still think that that's probably going to be the king for prayer. I don't think this is going to, you know, make prayer completely obsolete um, because it does take a little bit of time to, you know, chisel all the bone shards, get the wines, etc. But I really do like this activity. I think I'm definitely going to be sitting my new hardcore Iron Man. I'm just going to be sitting and mining bone shards for like couple days and then just uh you know slowly work towards 70 prayer hopefully this helps out you guys can go ahead and try it out i really like how chill and afk it is i never really liked buying a whole ton of buckets of slime um you will need to buy jugs of wine unfortunately to do this um so if you are like an iron man you may want to you know get your hands over to paul Nivnich and go stock up before that store gets uh completely bought out on every single world thanks again for watching guys uh hopefully i'll have a couple more varlo more stuff i still gotta test out the hunter guild and uh, see what's over there really enjoying the update i'm really excited to um, do a little bit more on my hardcore and i'll see you guys in the next video